So we're going to have a start at question one, suggested time 10 minutes. Um, I won't be spending the full two hours going through these questions. I'll gallop through and hopefully give you a flavor of the way it works. So program simulates the roll of a dice, open file Q01. And if you look down, save the amended as Q01 finished. So this is a standard uh, approach that we use. Um, I've got my uh, desktop set up here so that on the right hand side I've got my IDE of choice which is just a simple text editor in my case. It could be a much more um, powerful IDE that you could choose to use. Um, let's get a look at uh, file Q01. So I'll go to the students data file area. Here they are. I'm going to open it. So here's question 01. I'm going to straight away do save as and in the same place as the original is I'm going to put my finished. Now because this is a IDE I can actually run this program. Bear with me while I pull it over. And of course I immediately, uh, by looking at the debug uh, error, error messages on my uh, IDE, I find that there's a syntax error on import. So that would point me back to, let's have a good look at here, so import the random library. So now I can run and see what effect that has had. and. Uh, so I've now got uh, a syntax error here, unexpected indent equals random. Yes, that does look weird, doesn't it? Create one variable, create one constant. So I'm going to do a variable. I'm going to call it role and set it to zero. And then I'm going to set a, a constant. Now constants are mentioned in the um, spec and in the good programming practices and in the uh, PLS. And we're going to try to adopt a convention that if you're going to use a constant in a, in a program, uh, you can use the all uppercase uh, naming convention. So what's next? Um, assign the result of a library call to a variable. So I've got role is set up as a variable. And I want here to run role so that it's going to do the random and pull in sides. If uh, the final thing, display a message, uh, and the contents of the variable on the screen. So we're going to go print you have rolled roll. So let's try that. And this is exactly the process that we would expect a student to go through. You have rolled five. Happy with that? run it again you have rolled six so i think i've finished question one let's have a look at the mark scheme So I've just scrolled down in the document to find the mark scheme uh, for question one. If you scroll past it, there's actually a, a example of it as well. And you can see in here that marks, you'd get one for importing random, roll would be one, sides one, six, one, Roll equals random will give you one mark, print string and roll one mark. So 
This is an answer that would have represented the full seven marks.